let's play a game. Just to help you take your mind off of things for a while. So sit back, relax, get a cup of tea, get some sweets, some water, find a comfortable position, and let's try to do this together. If you enjoy this type of content, if you like ASMR, tarot, and psychology, I recommend that you subscribe to my channel. You can also book a reading with me on my website. Check out the description below. So let's get into it. We have this little chair thingy here. That I thought I would show you. Makes kind of a strange metallic sound. I think it's made of copper, maybe. It's supposed to be an ashtray. These are the little holders for the cigarettes. And right here, I don't know if the camera is focusing on the details, but you can see this bowl with the toreador. I don't know how it's uh, pronounced in English. So it's a uh, bullfighter, maybe that's how you say it. So it's probably from Spain. I found it in this apartment that I'm currently renting. I have no backstory, I have no idea where it came from, or what it is, really, but I thought it would be a great idea to use it in our game. So the game, I have a rough idea of how I want to play this game, it's going to be a guessing game. So I'm going to pull one card randomly, and place it here, and I'm going to say some things about the card and I would like you to try and guess which card it is. And in a follow-up video I'm going to show you what it was, but I would like you to guess and leave some comments um, and share your theories as to um, why you think that's the card. So I'm gonna Give the cards a little bit of a shuffle. I'm using the New Vision Tarot. And... Just shuffling, shuffling, shuffling. So I'm going to say some things about the card, but I'm also going to ask you to... Um, To try and use your clairvoyant abilities to try and see it. You know, it's going to be the, the card itself is going to be um, with its back to you, so the backside to you, and you can make you can try to make a, an assessment. A visual assessment of what is on the other side. You can try to do that or just try to establish a mental connection and work with the things that I say about the card. Does that sound good? All right, so Fan the cards here. Let's get ready. And all right. 
So I'm going to place the card here. And let's get started. Okay. So I'm gonna try and say some things about this card that are not that are not that obvious, not that revealing. This card has kind of a very strong, easily identifiable character, so it would be easy to give it away very quickly, I think. By the way, do you think that this game would be fun to play live? If you could, you know, you could ask me live questions, perhaps, and try to guess real time. What do you think about that? Let me know in the comments if you're interested in that. Okay, so I had to think about it a little bit. Um, this game is a little bit more complicated than I thought. So I tried to come up with some analogies so as to give you some clues about this card, but to not give it away completely. So if this card was a musical genre, I believe it would be reggaeton. If it was a film, I think it would be The Fast and Furious. If it was an animal, I think it would be a badger. If it was a plant, I think it would be coca. The coca plant. You know, the one that cocaine is made from. If it was a type of food, it would probably be spicy Mexican food. The type that you eat with uh, lots of courage and then you curse yourself. What would this card do if it saw something illegal? And I wrote, it would probably join. Depends on the situation, but probably it would um, join. Especially if it was something intense that required physical strength. Uh, like a, a brawl or something like that. What is the philosophy of this card? Doing something is better than doing nothing. What is the weakness? Impulsivity. And the strength is bravery, I believe. So that's all the clues I could come up with. Check back tomorrow for the reveal and in the comments. Let me know what you think. Which card is it going to be? See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.